logged in with your Gmail account. Um, I would like you to title it OCBTS Multimedia. Uh, I just put an AM because I'm going to be doing this again in the afternoon. And then your address, I'd like you to have your last name in there. And then it will search to see if that address is available. So make sure that there's a checkbox there. And then you can kind of look through some of these themes and choose one of there. Choose one of them. And then just press create blog. This one, this, this next screen that comes up, um, they want you to basically buy a domain or do that. So we can just say no thanks. All right, so now that we have our blog created, um, we're going to do a new post. All right, so we'll start with the basic title. All right. Now, for my my class blog, so I always do like kind of like a folio index, like I, I, it's always MM, the year, so multimedia, the year, and then day, whatever. But So you can do maybe something like day one, or maybe today you do a title of the blog. Um, blogs are, are typically kind of like diary almost types of things where you would kind of write about different things. So maybe... Um, we could, we could say start of the blog, or my blog, or something like that, to kind of summarize what's happening on this posting. All right, so what you have down here, and what I want you guys to do, maybe, so we'll start getting used to the, the habit of what we're going to do for our summaries, is if you open another tab with my blog on it, and if we just start by copying and pasting what I'd like for your summaries are your objectives and then how we did that. All right, so this objective today, uh, learning how to web or code web pages. And so we could say something like we um, listened to a presentation on how the internet works. All right, so if we wrote this in as our objectives and kind of how we did that, um, we could go in here and I could bold this. All right, so this is kind of just like using um, a page editor or you know, Microsoft Word or something like that. But now, if we go over to this HTML tab, so right here we have our Compose tab and our HTML tab. All right, if you look in here, now we're seeing the code that is required to make um, that text. So span style would be, and background colors. Um, this color code here is called a hexadecimal value. All right, if we, are, if we were to look in Photoshop and we see that you have, um, your color code is all, it's either CMYK, RGB, or you can refer to it as this hexadecimal value. All right, and mm -hmm. if we look right in here, so, there's a lot of like stuff here that maybe we don't understand or don't want to mess with really, but um, you could ch actually change your color in here. So if I wanted um, this color to now be, or actually, let's not, I don't know any color codes right now. All right. So I'm gonna just go, let's mess with the font a little bit. So if we say instead of 19.8 pixels, we can make this maybe 25 and then go back, we actually see that now this text has gotten bigger. So you can actually go in here and kind of hack some of this or modify it if you think of it that way, all right? And the same stuff thing with all this stuff down here. So we'll see that I should find that, what did I bold in here? I bolded, oh, objectives. So if I go up here and look at my objectives, yeah, right here, we see that it put in that bold um, tag in there. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see. All right, so there's our bolding that it applied to that. All right, I can come back here and then see how that worked. All right. Um, the other way around that too is if we went to our objectives and like for our color, so does it give us our hexadecimal values? No, it's just called red. So if I went back and looked, now this objectives that my color here, sometimes it's 
hard to find. It's got a couple different colors in here. Color white. It just all right. So here's our background color is white, and then our text color is red, as you're seeing here. All right. So that would be applying that. All right. So in this HTML tab, we're going to go down here, and we're going to actually add a table. So I'm going to give you um, some structure for a table. So the first thing we need to do is tell the browser or the um, that we are starting a table. All right. Now it's telling us it, it's not closed, so we get this message up at the top. All right. So we could actually go down there, and even though we're not done with the table, we could close it just to make um, our blogger interface happy here. All right. There we go. So now that went away. All right. So within that table, we're going to have a row. So a row is TR. And what is a row? If we were to think about a, uh, all right, so if we're talking about a, a table of data, right, it's basically how the browser is interpreting that. If we're saying a row, am I referring to going across or up and down? Across. Across, right? So that's what we're doing here when we're telling it this row is that, all right? So um, that's our first thing we're gonna do. And now we're gonna say within that row is data. So TD. All right, now I don't know if we can indent in here. back up here and I'm going to say table order equals one in parentheses in quotes one space px for pixels. So let's um, there's no space in between the one and the px and if I go back to compose this is actually the table in here. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all this text and I'm going to cut it and then back in my HTML, I'm going to put this as my data. So that's a lot of cleaner. Right? So let's, I'll zoom in on this. You can kind of examine that code. Let's see this one again. Create a new person. This looks like I bought these in my silver. You can have our text in that table. You get your winter jackets? Publish it. Yeah, one's my winter parka. Next year. Wait, your first year, right? Eh? Mm -hmm.